All right, guys, clearly I'm suffering. My allergies are out of control. Let me know what you guys take for medicine because I usually go with Claritin, but nothing's helping me. All of us are suffering, the kids, everybody's. Anyway, as you can see, your girl's at Target. So today I wanted to bring you guys with me. We're gonna do a Target shopping haul. We're gonna pick up some hygiene stuff. We're gonna pick up whatever we need in the house. And I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and put you guys onto some stuff. So before we do that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell so you never miss when your girl uploads. And let's get into Target. All right, y'all, so I'm over here in the allergy section. Comment down below what you think is gonna work because a lot of people are suffering this year and I heard from a lot of people that they're not getting any relief and obviously I'm not, so I don't know what I should get. These joints is expensive though. Where are the off brands at? This one's $21.99. Is there a tech? I don't know. I'm gonna try anything at this point. We're over in the body wash and for me, I'm really simple. I usually go with Dove. Dove is just always the way to go. You just always get that refreshing, soft feeling after you get Dove. So this is the one that I always use. Um, it's an ex it's an exfoliating body polish. Don't mind that baby crying. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this brand Native. Let me know down below if you guys try this. This is coconut and vanilla. And I don't know how much this is, but I also saw this. And it has kind of like the same smell, Method Body. And it's $7.89, so I'm kind of like, eh, I'm trying to get something a little lower. But the smell, y'all, hold on, let me let y'all smell this. Oh, my God. Should I get it? And then they have the rose water, peony, pink salt, pure piece. This one looks like it's going to smell like everything. I hate taking my mask down, but I need to make sure I smell before I buy. That's a must. No. I don't really like that one. And then they have the cucumber seaweed green tea deep detox. Let's see what that smells like. It's too limey. It's like, mm -mm. So we're over at the deodorant. Again, your girl always uses Dove, but I've been seeing this a lot lately. And this is the Dove 0%. So I definitely wanna see about it. I smelled this one already. This one is the pomegranate and lemon, but it's kind of too strong. And then lavender and um, vanilla is always my go-tos. As far as like, a calming scent but it kind of smelled like a man so i'm kind of in between i mean honestly this is the only one that's left so i probably go with this but damn 7.49 for some deodorant i usually stick with the basics right here this is my this is my go-to right here the powder one i don't care how much i'm sweating i don't care how hot it is it never leaves me musty a lot of the deodorants that have the scents and stuff when you sweat it will leave you musty uh-uh so I stick to the basics. I feel like everything is so damn expensive nowadays. Like, sheesh. Come on now. Everybody's over here struggling. All right, guys. So now I'm over to the, the VJJ stuff. Now I'm really, really particular about what I use. I don't put all the harsh stuff down there, and you shouldn't either. But I'm going to put y'all on right now today, okay? This brand Honey Pot, I'm telling you. I have the blue one at home, but this one, I have yet to try. It's all natural and it's supposed to really help you keep your joint nice and clean and refresh without any of like the harsh chemicals and fragrances because we don't need all of that. I always used to go with that and I also use this one, the Summer's Eve. It just always makes me feel clean. It has like a nice fragrance but not too strong. I don't feel like irritated. But I just saw this, y'all. And I was like, hold up, wait a minute. So I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to go with for today. But this one is healthy detox tea tree eucalyptus neem and rosemary hyperallergenic and ph balance y'all so look at this one let me know if you guys tried this one and this is 5.99 and then hold up so as i'm leaving the aisle i, I comes across that they got some organic heavy flow overnight pads so i definitely might try these so i can't leave at a target without getting some vitamins i have some at home i still have the prenatal ones and i also have the postnatal ones which is still good to take even if you're not pregnant because they have all of the vitamins that your body needs so but i want to try something different maybe gummies because these are like horse pills and if you're anything like me i don't like to take big pills something like a candy substance but still gets the job done this really caught my attention it's called hymns and hers build bio 10 your daily dose so it's a holistic supplement and it's cherry flavor, gluten free, blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I just like the presentation of this, hims and hers. It's like a you and your boo type of thing. But it's between that or this, because elderberry is really good. I like this. And my kids like it too. So I'd rather the gummies and the liquid, the liquid is not the best because it's kind of thick. But it's expensive. 
I really tried to avoid coming into this aisle because you guys, <laughs> I have a weakness for hair products. I feel like I have tried everything in here, but I just wanted to show you guys something that really, really caught my attention. Like I haven't seen this in I wanna say about good seven to eight years. And it brought back so many memories. This is the exact perm I used to use. This and just for me, they need to take these off the shelf. If you're currently putting this in your hair, stop. Got a few questions on my other video about what I use, like what's my staple. This is always gonna be the GOAT. I always, always style my hair with the Eco Styler olive oil. Like there's so many different ones, but I've tried them all and I never got the same result as I did when I used this one. This is always going to be number one in my book for styling my hair. And it's only $2.99, so I usually get the big tub, so it lasts me a while, but they don't have it here. This right here, bomb, okay? Bomb. And I was looking at this one because this is new. I think it's called Rizzer Curls, but it has the curl defining cream, deep condition shampoo, detangling spray. And I really think I want to try it and maybe review it, but uh, y'all see them prices? It's going to cost me over $100 for some hair products. Mm -mm. I'm not trying to spend over $100 on no hair products. Unless I know it's going to work, I'll probably do a little bit more research and then I might cash out on it. Okay, so I feel like I have so many brushes at home, but they're so old and they have too much product in them. And I'm be honest, I'm lazy. I don't like to like clean my brushes out, so I just throw it out and get another one. But when you have like real thick, kinky, curly hair, you need a brush that has like the wide teeth. Don't ever use brushes that are, you know, skinny. Don't use combs that are very thin. You need wide. So this is usually the brush I go for because it's easier. The teeth are wider so my hair doesn't get tangled in it. But I was looking at this one. This one has argan infused, argan oil infused paddle shine enhancer for $15. But your girl might head over to the dollar store because I know I can get a brush for cheaper. This one looks good. This one's $10 by Conair. What do you guys think? Oh, and it has like uh, the grip on it so that we don't lose that grip when we're trying to comb these tresses and these knots and these tangles and these naps. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, this one feels nice. I feel like the brushes are too soft though. This is $7.99. Okay guys, so now I'm home. Hours later, the girl been shopping all day. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought from Target. Initially, I just went in there for a couple of things, but if you guys are anything like me, you go in for one thing and you tend to come out with a whole shopping cart later. That's the reason why I stay clear away from Walmart because Walmart is, tends to be my weakness. I have a whole list and I come out with things that I don't need. It's just so hard. So let me show you some of the things that I got here in my Target bag. I picked up this detangler brush. This is really good for curly hair. It reduces breakage and split ends. I don't really know how much I paid for this. I put the price right there. But this is a really good brush. Really good for detangling your hair. Like I always look for detangling brushes. So many of them got stuck in my hair. Or I noticed a lot of breakage. So definitely a brush that you want to look for when having any type of curly hair. It still has a nice grip on it. And I don't really like the brushes that are too big. This is another one to add to my collection. Your girl went and got a charging cable. I don't know what it is about me and Apple chargers, but I have the worst luck. My chargers tend to die out on me so fast. So I was like, you know what? Let me stop being cheap and going to five below. Let me go get something more expensive. So I think this was about $15. I already have the Apple, like the base. So I just needed the charging cable. And I just thought this color was super cute. Just love it. Pink is my favorite color. So this is really, really, really cute. This is like a necessity. You cannot survive without a charger. So the next thing I picked up is some lotion by Nivea. This is actually new. I have the vanilla one and it smells so, 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 so good. It leaves my skin feeling so soft. This one is Fresh Fusion, breathable, and I opened it in the store, but it's a really, really, really nice refreshing smell. I'm a lotion type of person. No ashy knees, no ashy elbows. So this is definitely a good brand. So if you have not tried Nivea, I suggest you do so. I also picked up the bath shower gloves. I did a lot of research and I find that these are really good for washing your body. It's a good exfoliant, you know, to get dry skin off. And you also use it on your vajayjay. Specifically got these just for that. I don't really like to use the same washcloth when I wash my lower parts. I don't know, I'm just weird. I just feel like that's just a separate area and that needs to just be, you need to really protect that. Let me know if you guys use any bath gloves um, when washing. I usually use a loofer, but for one reason or another, my loofers start to unravel after a while. So I have to constantly keep buying these, but I always wanted to try gloves. So we're gonna see what this glove is all about. So next I went and got the Method Body Coconut Rice Milk Shea Butter Body Wash. 
I don't know what it is. Presentation gets me. I like the way it looks. Colors like stood out to me. It has no parabens. It's supposed to be all natural. And I like anything that has milk in it, shea butter. It's really good for the skin. <sighs> the smell is so good. If you like coconut scent or shea butter, you're going to like this. Hello? We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. Moving along. I'm going to try it and see how it goes. I think they had three other fragrances, but this one was the best smelling so far. So we're going to try this body wash out. I feel like you can never have enough body washes. I'm going to let y'all know how this works. My next pickups are lip gloss. If you guys do not know, I'm going to share a little secret. I'll let y'all in a little something something. Your girl has an addiction, a serious addiction with lip glosses. I have so many, it's ridiculous. Whenever I go into the beauty aisle, I have to get a new lip gloss. It doesn't matter. I'm just so drawn in it's a serious problem and i think i need help this one is by it's xoxoxo i don't know but it says filler instinct and it's just like a plumping lip polish not that i need any more plumping in these lips because these lips is all natural and they feel and they beautiful okay but i love a good clear gloss a nice shimmer gloss not too much natural look is always really really nice so this is on my off days when I'm just chilling and I don't want to put any lipstick on. This one, I don't know how much this was. I think it was like almost $10. This is like a, a lip gloss, lip color by NYX Each Casual. And I always go for the colors that are like, you know, nude brown colors. I feel like it complements my complexion. I don't know the price on that either. This one is by L'Oreal. L'Oreal is one of my favorite brands. This is a matte. It's weird. It doesn't say the color. Oh, the color of this is called Rouge à Lèvres. I don't know how to say that. But again, it's another like natural brown. I don't really like colors that are too, too bright. Comment down below what your favorite brand of lip gloss or lipstick is so I can try them out because your girl is here for it. Next pickup is brought you guys into the aisle with the vitamins. And it's really important that I start taking daily vitamins. I didn't try the prenatal ones and the one a day. But this right here caught my attention. Like I said, presentation to me is everything. We're going to try it out. It's a dietary template. It gives you 60 gummies. So that's for two months. And it has biotin. Folic acid supports your hair, skin, and nails. Those are all things that we need. Folic acid is so good for your body. Biotin helps for the hair growth in the nails. So I'm going to try it out. It's cherry flavor, gluten-free, no artificial flavors or colors. This is a holistic supplement. I really like the pills. I find that the pills are kind of too big and I struggle with that. So if I can chew with like some candy, it's a go. Next, your girl got some good old voluminous Lash Paradise mascara by l'oreal and when i get my mascara i always go for black instead of black because my eyelashes are black and i like that dark look to make them pop i always go for waterproof because i have really oily skin so before the day's over i find that my mascara is like running or it you know gets a little dark under here so waterproof is always a go it's long lasting it stays on all day and this one 90 percent volume doesn't flake and it lasts all day and it gives you that voluptuous volume and length a lot of people be like, oh, your eyelashes are so beautiful. Those falsies. And I'm like, no, sis, these are all natural. I'm really picky with the brush. I like the brushes that look like the combs because I find that I don't get the, you know, the volume that I'm looking for. I like my eyelashes look kind of thick and clumpy, if that makes sense. That's just the look that I go for. So, yeah, we're going to see about this. This one was, I don't know, a lot of my mascaras tend to dry out. I have an issue with putting tops back on. I'm guilty of that. So, this was definitely a necessity. It was a new pickup. So we're going to see how this L'Oreal works. Next, your girl got some organic infused pads with wings. Now, me, I'm always with wings type of girl. I stare clear away from tampons. I don't want nothing up in there that shouldn't be in there. I find that it could get a little irritated. That's just not the way for me. I'm here for the natural pad. So I was really excited when I saw this because it's plant-derived feminine care. It has mint, lavender, and aloe, which is wow. Usually the regular always, they don't have a scent or anything like that. They're thick, they're uncomfortable. This is all natural, it's herbal. And um, it's supposed to help women also with bacterial vaginosis and prevent any type of infections. And I'm here for it. It's only a 16 count, which I feel like I got played. But I definitely just want to try it out to see how it works. And if it's a go, I'll let you guys know. Next, your girl got some facial toner witch hazel. A lot of you guys compliment my skin and you're like, Michelle, your skin is glowing. You have beautiful skin. What do you use? I use a simple cleanser, Neutrogena, or sometimes I use black soap, it all depends. Sometimes all you need to do is just cleanse your face with water, honestly. A lot of things contain harsh chemicals that will cause breakouts and you're like, well, this is supposed to do this, but my face started breaking out when you tried different products. So this is something that I always apply after cleansing my face and it really helps to even out your skin. It helps with blemishes and it gives you that natural glow. The regular formula that I have is unscented, but this one in particular is lavender and lavender is one of my favorites. It helps me to relax and I just love the scent of it. 
This is supposed to give you eight hour hydration, leaving your skin healthier, soft, supple, refreshed, and less tight. So this is something I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank me later. Next, your girl got some good old Dove exfoliating polish, crushed macadamia and rice milk. This is the bomb, guys. This is like my third time buying this. Like I said, Dove is very gentle on the skin. So if you have really sensitive skin, your skin is prone to like acne or whatever the case may be, this is very gentle. It also has like the little exfoliant beads inside of it. It's amazing. It's not harsh and it leaves your skin feeling and smelling like a whole snack. So your man, your girl, whoever, put this one in the shower and see the results that you get after that, okay? Boom, following up with some good old Dove deodorant. Dove is my go-to. I have tried Degree, Secret, Listen, secret is just not it. It will leave your girl smelling real musty. Always go with the Dove powder brand. I like that light, refreshing powder scent. I'm not too big on all of the other ones. But I did see this one going around and I wanted to try it. Dove 0% aluminum. And this is for sensitive skin. I don't really have sensitive skin underneath the armpit. I figured why not try it. And it has a really nice smell. So we're going to test this out right now. We're going to see. Yes, I'm here for it. Yes, it's supposed to be a 24 hour odor protection and um, it's great for sensitive skin. So you can never have too many deodorants. I usually get the double pack, the twin pack, just so that I don't have to keep running back and forth to the stores. So I'm gonna see how this works and compare it to my powder one. Hopefully it's a go. Boom, bam, boom. This is a necessity in your house. I have a serious issue again with cleaning my ears. I just like how the Q-tip feels in my ears and I know you're not supposed to clean your ears every single day and you need to be careful when applying Q-tips because you can push your earwax further in your ear. Then you're gonna find yourself in the ENT office. But I got the big pack. This was only like $1.99 for a $7.50 count, okay? This is a good buy. I feel like out of everything I got, this was a smart move. A lot of the things that I showed you guys already, I didn't look at the price, I just threw it in my cart. But this is definitely 750 for Q-tips for $1.99. I had to get it. Next, I got my basic cotton rounds and this was only a dollar and some change. These are really good for cleansing your face. Again, I use this when applying my witch hazel. So after my skincare, I'll pour this on my witch hazel and I do my little whole circular thing. Tissue just doesn't cut it, neither does paper towels. So you definitely need some type of cotton rounds when you're wiping off or removing any type of your makeup. It's definitely very, very convenient, very effective, and it also removes a lot of dirt on your face as well. Y'all, my allergies have been kicking my behind, okay? As soon as April hit, April and May are the two months that leave your girl looking real busted, okay? My eyes be looking swollen like somebody punched me in them. My nose is constantly running. My throat is itching. Ears is itching. It just be a whole mess. So let me know if you've been suffering with your allergies and what you do. Normally, I go with Claritin. And that works really good. But I wasn't getting relief with that. So I was like, let me try something different. So this is the off brand because the regular brand was $42.99. And I said, not today. It's supposed to keep you good for the whole day. So... I definitely popped one in yesterday and I was Gucci, feeling nothing, no sniffles, no nothing. But not least, I picked up another pair of hoop earrings. You guys know in all of my videos, your girl loves hello bamboo big earrings. These are really nice. The brand is called A New Day, the nickel free. These were only $7.99, so I had to get these. Also, the reason why I got these is because they're lightweight. I have to be careful with earrings. A couple of pickups that I got in the past. They were really heavy, so they were like weighing my earlobe down. So you can stretch your earlobe and then you have a big problem. So I definitely wanted earrings that were lightweight, but still giving me that big look that I go for. So yeah, this basically wraps up my Target haul. I'm sure I'll be doing some more like this. If you guys want to see me do any more shopping hauls, take you guys with me. Let me know and I'll definitely do so. If you enjoyed this, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the bell so you're notified whenever your girl uploads a video. And also head over to my Instagram. Check your girl out on IG because whenever I'm not on YouTube, you can find me over there. So I'll be sure to put my Instagram right there. After you watch this video, go over there and follow your girl. And don't tell me you don't have an account because if you don't have one, it only takes under five minutes to create one. With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. I enjoyed this video with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it too. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.